Welcome back to the Sonic CD playthrough. And we've walked into a disco. Yay! <laughs> ah! Fuck! Run. Oh, Run. Run it with fire! <laughs> Ugh, good, she can't reach us here. Oh no, Amy Rose has been kidnapped. <laughs> Don't care. <laughs> Keep the bitch. Ah, she, you can have her, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> so I was just like, <laughs> well, what was up with that? <laughs> What? You don't expect me to did go I... after him, do you? <laughs> did, did, did you see a, you see a fucking robotic me grab a girl I don't like? <laughs> I don't see how that's my problem. Finding oh. it unusually hard to give a shit. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I what guess I should, but... but... Like a chili dog. Jeez, and you accuse me of wasting time in games. Wait, that's not <laughs> you could chili. just go. It's disgusting. Yeah, Lewis, you could just go. Literally, nothing is stopping you. <laughs> ah, I felt like giving the guy a head start. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> I also love how everyone I know who first plays Collision Chaos, uh, there's spikes right in the pathway, and we don't have rings, and so you just run, run full speed. <laughs> yeah. And die. I think we all did that the first time we played it. I know, it's such a dick move. <laughs> I will say this, I am a pretty big fan of bouncy levels like this one, or Casino Night Zone, or Spring Yard Zone. To the uh, future! Uh, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of... I'm not a fan of Collision Chaos at all. And it, I'm not I a get, fan I, of Collision Chaos in particular, but if it's a bouncy level, I'll at least enjoy it. No, but that's the thing, though. It's because of that wonderful collision detection this game has I hate it so much because like I said before this is before since this game wasn't I'm guessing because this game was since it was in, in development at the same time as Sonic 2 was they didn't exactly have any kind of flipper physics yet because when Sonic in this game touches a flipper he doesn't roll into a ball he just stands on it like some kind of deformed platform and it's really really awkward not to mention it makes the pinball physics fucking unplayable I do love that figure eight yeah. animation, yeah. though. Yeah, they should have they sh they should have brought that back in another game. You know, besides Brawl. And we're back down here. And yes, for those of you paying attention, this is the only Sonic game on the Genesis, Sega CD, whatever that actually reuses Sonic's sprite from a previous game. Just adds Strikes? a bit more animation to it, animations to his plethora. Yeah. The It's actually kind of uh kind of ironic that the the Oso Saint that the Oso all powerful Sega C D actually has less running frames for Sonic than Sonic 2 on the Genesis does. Just looks cheaper to me. Well, here's my uh, thing: the super peel out. How do they? Why can't they never brought it back for any of the console Sonic games? Because <laughs> it's fucking redundant. That's why. It's so I already have the spin dash. It I does mean, nothing. Be it, it. It does no harm being in the game. <laughs> you can uh, say the. You can say you, just, you, you can use the same argument for the other side, but still. It's easier to stop when you're running than when you're rolling. The spin dash actually has some balance to it. The super peel out's just sort of there. Yeah. The balance. only reason the, the only reason it doesn't particularly break this game is because you, you can't really get much use out of it because of the level designs being less open to speed. I prefer the super peel out a lot more than the spin dash in this game. <laughs> well, because the spin dash requires well, a rev up dash, time, but spin dash yeah. in this game like the Sonic 1.5 spin dash. It he just spins up into a ball and it, it has such a ridiculous and long charge time. You have to wait for the camera to s scroll to the side and everything. Let's go. I'm trying to get to the upper level. Why? Why? Because go. the upper level in a Sonic game is always where you want to be. <laughs> there, you're on the upper level. Now you're back on the lower <laughs> level. Back. I'm sorry, I gone. didn't realize I was so close to the end. You could have just gone, Lewis. That's actually one of the things about the levels in this game. They're really short back to front. They're just really vertically inclined. 
there's a, there are a lot of levels you can explore. When you're actually exploring for the robot generators and stuff, they're, they can take up a lot of your time, but if you're just running from the beginning to the end, they don't take very long at all. Yeah. The whole game's designed with that, that, that kind of thinking where, like, you're going to have to backtrack to get rings or the robot generator. So they don't really put in bottomless pits or anything, because they know you're going to be backtracking a lot. Which was smart on their part. Yeah, it works. There's only one bottomless pit in the entire game, and it's in the very last act. Yeah. 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 And yeah. by that point, it's fucking ginormous, and you hate it. <laughs> I know, that's that like the worst point, bottomless pit of all time. The golden point, time stone. At <laughs> that point, you're, you're like, so trained not to expect bottomless pits that when you fall into it, you're like, what the fuck just killed me? <laughs> 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 There's a lack of floor? <laughs> Eggman, you bastard. I was expecting an electrified floor to catapult me back up. Damn you. <laughs> we. Like Metroid eggs or something. What the fuck? No, we're back in Gemini that? Man stage. <laughs> These things are cut. Slicers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one. That one was broken. That depending on what time you're in, some of the robots have worn out and will be less effective. The bad For future. Example, they're all fucked up. <laughs> Look at that. Example, See, some isn't of that wonderful? <laughs> fucking slicers. <laughs> some. No, no. This is the this is the ninjutsu mantis's retarded, less talented, stupid idiot cousin who doesn't <laughs> actually do anything. <laughs> I love how these butterfly things spawn respawn in. By the way, in case you're wondering, that's where the robot generator is in this act. <laughs> yeah. Now, good luck getting back to it once you get to the past. Oh, it's not that hard. <laughs> hard enough that that's annoying. Yeah. You need to know enough. your level design more. You couldn't do this in Sonic 4, by the way. <laughs> no, no, you no. couldn't. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Here we have, like, a level practically designed around the mechanic. Jesus, how far we have fallen. I really do like this track here. I say good luck finding your way back up to the thing, because for some reason going to the past makes it impossible to get up there from here. So... Find a different I have, route. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to go up higher, but for some reason there's a height cap. I don't understand why. <laughs> Just go. <laughs> you already missed the first act of this world, so there's no point in going for any other other ones. I'm trying to hit the ladybug. There, you hit the ladybug. <laughs> Are you happy? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Just go. Ah! Oh, God, no! <laughs> Fucking slicers. <laughs> Your 50 rings are gone. Now we're going to spend so long trying to get 50 rings, and all because you just wouldn't go. <laughs> That's the cleft that we all know and love. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Lol. That was cheap. Sonic's taking a beating here. All because someone just wouldn't go. Shut up. <laughs> and rings. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> for once, I'm thankful for the bad collision detection. <laughs> <laughs> I love how the rings that you would be able to pick up in the present just go through the floor in the past. There, that's how you get the robot generator. And you're gonna go back to get that one ring. Of course, I need to get 50. Raging Klepto. No, I just need to get 50. Raging Klepto. I gotta say, though, like, one thing one thing I can give Sonic CD credit for, though, is is the endings, actually. Because if you, if you, if you fail to get the time stones or destroy all the robot generators, you feel like a real asshole for getting the bad ending. <laughs> <laughs> but at least with the game, when you, when you, do, when you actually do... Uh, it's still not quite as bad as Sonic 2 on the... Master System or Game Gear, whichever one well, it was. Not nearly yeah. as grim as Chaotix. Yeah, but um, when you do get the good ending in this game, though, you feel like you really accomplished something, which is actually the whole reason why I oh, did yeah. the game twice. <laughs> Think of the oh, flowers. When you get that good guys, ending, you Jesus. feel good about yourself. <laughs> Think of the flowers. And those nice bright colors and everything, and the animals are flocking around. You're just like, yeah, I caused this. I made this happen. 
Yeah. I, I are the apocalypse. I are Ted yeah. Awesome. <laughs> there, there's your 50 ring, 50th ring. Go get it. Now go. Nothing is stopping you. You've got the robot generator. I'm going. Shut up. Just... You seem to be going left. <laughs> watch out. There are still spiked obstacles here. Whoa, but watch there out. <laughs> I don't I know, want to go. That's why I'm taking it slow. <laughs> You're fine. Wee. Wee. <laughs> Momentum? What's that? <laughs> <sighs> Teleportation, yeah! What? It's the most random <laughs> lyric in this song. <laughs> Is that really what it says? Yeah, it says teleportation, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, sure. That's what Ganon sings to himself every time he uses it. 